going on guys? Matt Schaefer here. I am an installer at Safe and Sound Mobile Electronics in Chantilly, Virginia. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the JL Audio Fix 82 and the Fix 86. Now, what you need to know about these, these are digital sound processors that are going to fix the factory signal in your OEM radio. So if you're looking to upgrade the sound in your current car, and it's a car that you, it's difficult to replace the factory radio and you want to keep the factory items there intact, a good solution is to use a fix. And the reason you'd want to do this is because the EQ curve of your factory radio is accommodated to correct the appropriate signal to the factory speakers. Now the factory speakers, as we all know, are paper and plastic. So the EQ curve in your factory radio and factory amplifier, if you have one, is preset to make that stuff sound as best as possible. Now, when we replace our speakers, we often can't fix that signal. So that's where this comes into play. We need to correct that signal and give us a full bandwidth of frequencies where everything is pretty level, almost like we're installing an aftermarket radio. Uh, now, why this is important is if you were to replace the speakers in your car and keep everything intact with the factory radio, a lot of times we will have peaks and dips because again, it's gonna believe that the factory speakers are still in the car. So the same EQ curve is gonna be set for the speakers unless you do something like this. So the difference between the Fix 8.2 and the Fix 8.6 is the 8.2 is basically a two channel. So it's gonna have uh, two outputs that are gonna go to your amplifier. Now this is going to fix the signal, it's gonna fix the factory time alignment and everything in the factory radio, but it's only gonna give, give you two outputs, so you're not gonna have any fading. Now where the Fix 8.6 comes into play is it's gonna have your front, your rear, and your subwoofer output. Uh, the front and rear is gonna be full fading, and the subwoofer is basically gonna be a sum of channels one, two, three, and four. Uh, you have eight channels of input, so if you have a factory amplifier where it's gonna be crossed over and it's gonna have front mid and front high, that'll give you inputs one, two, three, and four. Uh, if you're using an up mixer, you can throw the center channel in there. If it has a factory sub in there, you can throw the factory sub in there. And the cool thing about what the fix does for a lot of people who you know, just want an easy solution is it's gonna automatically calibrate everything for you. So you're gonna put the disc in, you're gonna put it to a certain track, and you're gonna turn it up to three quarters volume, hit a button, and bam, it's done. And I'll be able to show this to you here in a few moments of it actually working and you being able to see everything working on, on the fix. A further upgrade from the Fix 82 and the Fix 86 would be the tweak from Jail Audio. And what the tweak is gonna allow you to do is it's gonna allow you to accommodate for the placement of the speakers, so the time alignment, it's gonna allow you to accommodate for uh, certain, certain factors in a car, reflections, uh, glass, because a lot of times when you place speakers in certain places, there's gonna be more frequencies that are gonna be more prevalent than others. And this is gonna allow you to take an RTA inside the car and get into each frequency band and be able to adjust that. Now the tweak, like I said before, is going to do that for you. It is all automatic. So you're gonna hit a button and it's gonna give you a flat signal. It's gonna flatten the entire signal. This is gonna allow you to have full adjustability on, on the signal. Uh, so you have full control over. We'll do a video on this at a later date, but right now I am doing an install on this Toyota Prius here where we're using the Fix 86. So let's get into a little bit more depth and I can show you exactly how it works and how easy it is to use. All right, so this is a brief overview of what we're working with here. Again, we're working on a Toyota Prius here and we are using a Fix 86 because we want to correct the signal going into our JLXD amplifier. So with the Fix 86, how this car is set up, it's very simple. This is not a JBL Toyota. So the signal coming out of the factory radio is very easy. You have your front full range signal and your rear full range signal that are the only inputs. Uh, in some cases, in other cars, you would have maybe a front 
high, so like your front tweeters, and then the front woofer would be separate. So in this case, we're literally using a front full range signal here in one and two, three and four skipped, because that's gonna be used for another front signal, and then our rear inputs down here, five and six. So when I'm gonna turn on this car, I'm going to put in track one of the fix. I'm gonna turn it up to three quarters volume, and I'm gonna hit this calibrate button here. That is going to fully correct the signal, but first let me show you exactly what the signal looks like coming out of this factory radio. All right, so right now as it stands, this is going to be your front signal. This is coming from the front left speaker, and what this is showing is it's showing a big dip here in your mid bass. Uh, it shows that it has plenty of highs, you know, some good lows, but we have a big dip down here. So when I calibrate the fix, you're gonna see that all this is gonna become a lot more level and it's gonna iron everything out. Because obviously if we're installing equipment that can handle these frequencies here, you know, we wanna notice that in our speakers. If the signal's not, not there, our speakers can't reproduce the signal. A lot of times I like to make the analogy of home audio and TVs. You know, if you buy a 4K TV and you bring it home and play a VHS player in it, do you think it's gonna look like 4K content? Of course not. It's not gonna look anything like it did in the store. So you need appropriate signal in order to make your TV, and in this case, the speakers, sound as good as we can make them. So let's calibrate the fix and see what the signal looks like. Okay, so to start the calibration process, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on three quarters volume on the factory radio. We're gonna make sure the fader and the balance is right in the center, and we're gonna make sure that treble, bass, and everything is set to zero. Not negative, not positive, we want it to be set to zero. So we're gonna... All right, so we're gonna start the calibration process on the fix itself, and very easy. We're gonna put on track one, three quarters volume, hold down this calibrate button for about five seconds, you'll see the right bank of lights go out. It turns amber, it'll flash green to let you know that it's gonna be in the calibration process, and then it should go solid green. A few things to note about the unit here is the inputs, it's gonna range from about 250 millivolts all the way up to 30 volts. So it's gonna basically cover any OEM audio system from a factory amplified system to something with a very low level signal if you if you can grab it before the factory amplifier uh, so this will go green again just waiting for that to happen these are going to be four volt outputs to your aftermarket amplifier the audio is going to pass through when it's done and this is telling us right now that we're 100 percent good to go so let's go ahead and check the output signal with the pink noise and see exactly how well this unit work for us. So here is a signal coming out of the fix after it has fixed the signal. I mean, look at that. It, it doesn't really get much better than that. This piece does an unbelievable job of fixing the signal. Like I said before, we had a huge, huge dip right there in, in the mids. And uh, now you're, you're sitting pretty. Um, like I said, from here on out, if you wanted to do further I'd recommend doing a tweak to where you can actually take the vehicle's environment and put that into the scenario. But for you know the price point of the fix, you really can't beat this. I mean, this is gonna have you starting like an aftermarket radio with your OEM radio without any additional steps. And uh, like I said, very easy to set up. It's, it's not hard. You take the inputs, put it right into the fix, hit the calibrate button, and then it spits this out. So awesome product love the product uh can't say enough about it jl came out with the clean sweep you know 15 15 or so years ago and it was kind of the the cutting edge of dsps um now they came out with this and like i said at its price point with everything else on the market you really can't beat it um so i'd say go to jl audio's website check it out read up more about it um but for me, we use this piece all the time. We use the Tweak quite often, and uh, they're both great, great products. They just came to the market with these two different pieces this year. So get out, check out JL's website. Uh, and if you wanna see any more videos involving, like I said, I'm gonna be doing a walkthrough on the Tweak. If you wanna see that, check out 
my other videos on YouTube, I also do a few walkthroughs on a couple jobs and vehicles that I've built. Um, so if you want to check that out, again, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for the support. I appreciate it, guys. Until next time.